Welcome to Perth's number one podcast. You're listening to the Jamo and Dylan Show. Yeah, yeah, we're on the way to Dunsbra, a little mad trip with the boys. We're celebrating. G'day, guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Jamo and Dylan Show. Today is episode 224. Beautiful day here in Perth, a little bit cooler. The weather's magnificent at the moment. It is. It's amazing. Really good. We get the, you know, the nights drop down to about 14, so it's lovely. You wake up, it's not too hot in the morning. Peak of the day gets warm, 29, 30, and then it cools off. Perfect, bro. Definitely is. Now, Dil, give me one positive and one negative about the last 24 hours of your life. Um, I can give you two negatives, actually. Okay. Obviously, the Crows lost. Yep. Um, Not good. Just average, bro. They only played good for one quarter. I don't even know yeah. what's going on. I hate them at the moment. Um, and then, well, United's one didn't hurt as much because wa- you wake up to it. Yeah. And they lost somehow, let in two in the last few minutes. So, teams aren't doing well. And then I'll go all positive. What did I do yesterday? I can't even remember. I'm trying to think what I ate yesterday. I feel like I had some good food, but obviously not good enough to remember. True. So just two negatives. Two negs. What about you? Because I can't remember what I had. I uh, cut my eye again. Oh, that's not good. So I'm in a bit of pain today. I'll try and not let it show. Yep, um, yep. But I have to put a contact lens on the eye to see. So I've got a lens on the eye that's cut. Yeah. Um, and it was a weird one too because I don't remember the moment it happened. I just woke up in the morning and I know when it's happened. Um, what is it from the uh, contact lens that cuts it? It's The lens itself is so soft it can't cut it. It's yeah, when yeah. a piece of like dust or dirt or something floating in the air can get in your eye. Oh, right, and then when you right. take the lens out or put it in, it can like shift it across yep. and, and slice it. So. Yeah, in the wars in terms of my eye today, like, so if I look a bit weird on the video, apologies. Also, on the videos, they should all be uploaded by the time this is out. So there'll be a Who's Punching and two podcasts. Back and in then, business. Yeah, we are back in business. Thank you to um, Perrin Kerno, who's helping us Any with man. the thumbnails um, for this moment in time. And my positive from the last 24 hours is gather around i think like just i know not you guys losing mm. but just having the vibe the vibe of the footy i'd love to be there and having plenty there today we're also going to check out varsity cannington today yep um yep. after the episode we're going to go down there there'll be a footy game on we'll watch that we'll get some food and all will be good positive which is we've put it in here burswood point there you mm. go that's a positive in the last 24 hours you put it in the group chat and we've decided that's where we're going to live yep that's a positive so Burzwood Love it, Point bro. is a new like um, apartment development, development in Burzwood. In Burzwood. It's just across the road from Optus yeah. Stadium. It's going to be built around um, the races. Belmont race course. And um, it's going to be insane, bro. Yeah. Like that area is just going to be proper magic now. You've got the Cass, you've got Optus Stadium. Yeah, Cass, Optus, races, city's just there. The city's just there. Oh, man. It's a nice spot. Near the it's water. It's a spot. It's this spot. That's it's one of the yeah. I don't. There's not many better spots you could live in Perth. This seems like a really nice spot for like a five ten year period, and then you're off to Cottesloe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Live there, have fun. You're close to everything, bro. Then you bring up your family in the yeah. the Cottesloe in your Cottesloe area. areas. What's another place like Cottesloe? Around there, like a peppermint grove. Yeah, is when nice. you go across the road, there's like Peppy Grove and Mosman Park and stuff. Magic. They're like on the river. There's even nice. some crazy like Scarborough homes as well. Yeah, there's some nice ho- – there is in City Beach. There's some nice homes around um, oh, like Bicton Bath sort of area okay. on the river there. Me and Carly went there a few weeks ago and it was elite. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and then obviously like around Trigg, there's some elite ones. Rog wants to live in Subiaco, he told Subi, us. Subi. I didn't know he was lively like that, the little nerd. I think because, you know, he, he – Trained at Subiaco. So he has a bit of a Never soft played spot. there though, did he? No. Did no. he ever play one proper game? No. Damn. Never. Just a water boy, eh? Played as many games as us. At that level. But yeah, he said Subi or Cot for Rog. Yes. And Cot would be great. Imagine all three of us one day living there. I know. Imagine I love, if he lives there and we don't. I love the beautifully well-maintained grass. Yeah. Yep. I love the, the family vibes. I love the ocean being When you go there by. at Christmas, they have big red bows around oh, the trees. Every big tree. Historical. No one steals them because it's Cottesloe. Yep. In Thorny, bro, they'd get yeah, they'd stolen and right pissed away. on. They're going onto the front door of their home. Crazy. But no, nah, Cottesloe is a beautiful area. Everywhere around there is very nice. Yeah, Burswood Point looks 
Hers the luxe. Clean. It just looks like that's where you'd have so much fun, is it? Yeah, I'm not even like an apartment guy. I'd prefer a house. But it'd be However, elite there. that location. Imagine like on your, you go onto your balcony and you're just watching the races. Yep. Have the boys over. You know how we play tennis near there? Oh, it's right there. Go across there. The lifestyle would be incredible. Damn, bro. It's a good spot. And we want to go there. So, you know, if you guys want to help us out or anything, go fund me. Get we need to, I wonder how much. We'll probably need a lot of money. To oh, there. yeah. Four those and a half places, thousand homes being built. Those places are going to be expensive. Yeah, that's prime real estate in Perth. What I was bro. thinking, though, most of them will be lived in. If there's any that are rented out as Airbnbs, that would be sick for a couple of That's a great idea. That, that's a perfect spot to stay when you come to Perth. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Location wise, yeah. Beautiful. Location wise, just as close to everything as you can be, bro. But yeah, we'll live there. There's a point, bro. We had some business meetings. We um, did, bro. It's been a busy couple of weeks for us in terms of the business, which is good. We had a lovely one last week, which we talked about, and we that's did. been put on the back burner for now. Yep. Just till both parties are ready and we can come together later on in the year. It was sad, but it's happened. Yep. And we'll move on. And we had a big one yesterday. Obviously, you guys know we do Ned's. Yep, Ned's um, is coming up. So coming support back. that. Show us much love and support and there'll be fortnightly yep. um, Ned's ads. So That'll show be, them some love. Yeah, April to November. So obviously throughout the potty, you'll be getting the reads every week. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, as Jamo said, every two weeks a video will go on Instagram. We'll remind you guys on Instagram to just love it no matter yeah, what. Yeah, of course. Because your unconditional love means that we get to do what we love. Yeah. And that's talking to you guys. So just like the videos and comment. Yeah. It's easy. It's only once every two weeks. It'll take you. It'll take you a minute, a fortnight, and they'll either be informative, funny, or both. Yeah, and yeah. we'll try and find that happy medium, and there'll be a bit of trial and error. Exactly, but we'll get there. But we're looking forward to working with them. We had a big meeting yesterday. There was about ten people on the call, which was Mate, interesting. W you and I have expressed how nervous we get before things. It's just a human reaction, yeah. and you and I feel it quite strongly. Yeah, and. We felt pretty good until just before the meeting yeah. and then you need to go to the toilet and then you need like, these are people that we've never met before, nah. but they're trusting us with some of their money, businesses money for us to try and, then we and hop promote. on and it's just a screen of 10 people. Bang. Scary. We met a couple of blokes who are from Nova in Brisbane. They were lads, bro. Everyone lads. was nice on the call that we met though. Yeah. Some of the Ned's reps and then obviously some other, I was some other people. Some other, yeah. Some of the other ones are, can't remember their role exactly, yeah. but, you know, important nonetheless. Yes. So that was quite nerve-wracking and scary, um, but we got it done. It was pretty good from us, I think. Yep. I think they liked us. Yep. And I think that they like what we can offer and they like how authentic we are. And then we had an interesting email today about another opportunity from, mm -hmm. a, from a bloke we've been speaking yes. with. And he goes, you know, they're interested, we're moving forward, but they've flagged this video as a cause for concern. Now, I thought that there would be much more videos in our catalogue that would cause more concern than this one. Don't be flagging our videos, bruv. No. Nah. We put them out for a reason. We triple check everything. What we want out is what we want out. Yes. Now, this goes out and it is the Rambo wave at the airport video. What is wrong with that? Anyway, so we missed out on a deal because of that. So thanks, Rambo. But you know what? I'll stand by it, bro. Oh yeah, like it's like we it's we have much more fun when we're doing stuff with a brand that we like, yes. and it's just way better. Mm -hmm. So you know, if you kind of line, that's okay, bro. We don't like this brand, do we? Not at the all, one bro. That we were just talking about anyway. Business meetings, tick that Some off. Big the list. business meetings, bro. But fun yeah, times. Things are going well for us at the moment. Yeah, but we're on a bit of um, we got a bit of momentum. Yeah, we have. It's a good time of year. Now you and I. We love trying to get Josh involved in just a three-way friendship. Trying right? to just get him out the house, out of his shell, out of being a little, I don't know, like one of them little turtles. Hermit. He's a hermit yeah. Um Or a snail. He is a snail, slow moving through life. Or just a little weasel. And we asked him to hang out this weekend. Some, he, apparently he's busy both nights. So we gave two options. We said Friday night or Saturday night, we'll do some things, we'll watch some footy, we'll have some fun, we'll go to the cast. All right? Busy. Busy on both with geek, nights With some geeky uni friends This has never nah, happened This has never happened before Like where he's busy on two nights I can't nights. believe he's double booked out bro It kind of pisses me off I wonder if we asked something on Sunday I don't want to do anything on Sunday But Either. if like we asked about Sunday He'd probably have something on else Sunday, on bro. Always down south isn't he We're never invited He was down there for ages Yeah 
He did say, though, there will be one day where we can go down south to that He's house. He's lying, bro. It's in a perfect location. He'll never invite us, will he? Nah. And he doesn't even listen to our show. <laughs> only, when he, only when we really go at him and someone tells him. Yeah. I wonder who tells him. Like, who are his friends that listen? I don't know. It's always funny. There's a lot of people that listen that, that would you never yeah, tell us. 100%. Yeah. But, um, it's nah. a weird one. But, yeah, Rog has no right to bail on us. Nah. It is disrespectful, it is rude, and we don't really like him right now. Also, Rambo's birthday, well, next when this comes out, it'll be, I don't know, the day of or the day after or something. Day of, yeah. Day of? His birthday's Monday. And so we're going out messages. next Friday as well with the lads, dinner yep. at Varsity, and then the cast, and then who knows where. Yeah. So that'll be a fun night. Yeah, it should be good. Should Celebrating be good. that Happy weird birthday man to Rambo. who just lost us a deal. Yeah. So thanks, mate. Well, yeah, like you said, we, 10K, we wouldn't change... We wouldn't change that. Nah, I can understand, you know, cert, like if certain videos, but ones that uh, we don't see an issue with, I'm yeah. happy about it, bro. And we've had an interesting week with videos. We have. We've had some beef, firstly. Yep, uh, international Fighting beef. Fighting words, bro. UK beef. So this was interesting. This took off a lot more than I thought it would, to be honest. Yeah. So just firstly, I want to say our intention – was to, one, speak the truth. Yeah. And two, get a little nibble on our fishing rod. And it worked. It worked and more. Yeah, it was It was interesting. So, obviously, a couple of weeks back, we discussed the sidemen and yep. how, you know, there's been a few times where ideas have been taken yep. or, or something along the lines of that. So, the video goes out, right? And about... When it was at about 15,000 views, which is, you know, that's your fans who are seeing that early video. That's what gets the videos moving. Now, it, by the way, when this video is posted, the side men, no one's tagged. No one's been tagged, right? KSI comments. And Mini Minter follows us on Instagram within the first 20K views, which is real early. Yeah. So Simon Mini Minter follows us on Instagram. On Instagram. And we're thinking, What? You and I were thinking, okay, well, is this him acknowledging fault? Is this him is acknowledging us? Branch? Yeah, is, is, it is it him saying, you know what, you guys are all right? Yeah. Or was it him baiting us? Exactly. So you had an idea that if we were to follow back, then he might just... I thought he was going to like unfollow. Or I don't know. I was, I was confused. Yeah. And then we had KSI comment, cry more. On the TikTok video. Really, really, really That's really weak. lame. It's so lame. And it got like 6,000 likes, but it was pathetic. Come on. Yeah. And I just wanted to shout out you guys or the people that- We actually that had a decent backing, bro. We did. Yeah. Like, we have our little army and our army went to war and I think they came back, you know, with battle scars. Yeah. But they fought valiantly. Yeah. We fought, bro. We stood, we stood tall. It was like 300. Yeah. And we just laughed at his comment. Like we had- you know, we could have said a few different yeah, things. Yeah, but we just left it with the with the laughing face and... Shut up, bandana boy. Yeah, we could have gone yeah, in, yeah. bro. But we didn't want to. And, um, yeah, we left it. And we it, left it was it. a good video. You know, a lot of the comments coming from the, the Sidemen fanboys were crazy. It was, oh, they don't even know who you are. Yeah. Uh, they must, bro, because they saw the video within 10 seconds. I mean, Come we, on. we've been on Cal Freezy's podcast, The Burnt Chip. You know what, like... They go at each other, bro. Yeah. They went even three years ago. They hated each other. Five years ago, whenever those whenever those rap battles were. Yeah. But no, it was, it was a funny video and it went way bigger than I thought it would. It really did. So, yeah. We're, we're happy that it, it had the impact that it did. Yeah. Um, we didn't get many Instagram hate messages or anything. Oh, we just, just TikTok stayed on comments. TikTok. Yeah. yeah. To be fair, we didn't put it on Instagram. Nah, because I figured, you know, it's already done its job. Why yeah. upload? And a question to you guys is, what do we do with, with Mini Minter following us? Like, do we... We did end up following back. So yeah. now we're, um, we're Insta friends. So exactly, Insta followers, Insta friends. Is that the moment where, do we just leave it and leave it in the past? Or do we... I don't know, bro. Obviously, he's a busy man. But Foes turned friends. Could we do any type of video with him? Maybe we'll become best friends with KSI, you know? Enemies yeah. one day. We'll see. Cry more. We'll see. Crime war, that's such a, like, like a that. is that like a UK thing? It is, say that? it is, but it's like a 12, 13 year old boy thing See, to that say. Wouldn't, that doesn't cut it over here. Like in some, Australia, some guys looking on Fortnite. Crime war, crime war. That's lame, bro. It's not great. I thought there would be better um, from him, especially you know he and has he has a sook at a lot of things. Boys are crazy, like crime war, and then one of the comments was, "Oh, KSI cooking." No, he's <laughs> not, bro. Like, come on. That's like the sideman fan base. 
Oh, it's deep, bro, and they've earned it. It's deep, but it's also it's very young. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of young people, so that's why a lot of the comments were poor. But no, nah, we had a decent backing. We did, lads. So nah, thank you, everyone. It was it was fun. It was an exciting hour. And then, like, it kind of just – it didn't – like, the views kept going. But like you said, the the comments and the hate kind of stopped and it was yeah. just stayed on TikTok and it was like, oh, okay. It was funny, like, the – they don't even know you. They've One's just followed us and one's just commented on our video. KSI fanboy, bro, commenting – he doesn't even follow us, but yep. he's commenting on I don't even comment on his videos. Within 15 seconds, bro. So, no, nah, that was a cool night um, just to be involved. Beefing with the side men, bro, whatevs. Whatevs. And actually, on Saturday night, um, Fred again, that was a really good good concert. Yeah. And then ended up in the city and bumped into a guy from the UK. Mm. And he was like, as if KSI commented on your video. Oh, did he? And wow. There's actually a few people who, because that was quite recent. It was like the day before. Yep, yep. And they'd seen it and they came up and they were quite happy. And they were like, you boys like keep playing the villain type thing. That's what, yeah, shout out Dan Hickey out. Our um, editor, he, you know, we messaged him saying, oh, what do you think we should do? And he was like, ah, oh, you're already the villains. Like, just keep doing it. Yeah. Okay. Maybe then, that's then, our path to stardom, bro. Then we followed Simon, though. So. Yeah. That's Simon. right. No, keep your friends close and your enemies closer, bro. We're yeah. keeping a real good eye on him now. See, I just don't know where we stand with him. What's your step, Simo? Our intentions were never hostile. No, nah, it's just to, like, let them know. Yeah. Let them know that we're watching. And let them know that we're... We are creative. Yeah. And also, even if it's like, let's say there's something that's not your idea. Yeah. You can just shout us out. That was the whole point of the video. Yeah. The, yeah, the whole point of the video was for us to just grow. Yeah, and it worked, sort of. Sort well, of. The video did well. Yeah. If we were in getting a creator fund, that video would have made us money. Yeah. Because we live here, makes us nothing. Most definitely. That's life, bro. Oh, well. Um, who's punching? So This just infuriates me, bro. I'll let you take Nothing the reins here. Nothing pisses me off more. Now, these who's punching videos get sent in to us. The emails, they get sent. The photos get sent in. People beg to be on the show. You're right. They beg us, bro. We select you. Then we send you a consent form, which you read and sign for and both parties. The consent form basically states that you give us permission yes. to potentially make fun of you for entertainment purposes. Now, you sign that. And, and send it back like a psychopath. And you've already sent it in as well. We could just take that, but we take the extra step to be kind human beings that yes. we are. We make the videos. The videos come out. They do? Now, I think the problem with society, right, everyone's egos are high. Okay. I think people are walk like, I think maybe fours are walking around like they're eights. Mm-hmm. And then when they finally get put in their place, bro, they don't like it. But they begged for this judgment, then don't want it. Yep. I don't get it. Video wasn't even that harsh. The video wasn't harsh. A lot was cut. The comparisons we made weren't even bad. Like, it's not beating up on someone when they beg for judgment. Think of it now. It's not that deep. It's an entertainment series that we've created. And it's just a bit of fun. I'm sick of, bro. Don't send it in and sign the form. And then the video goes out and the world judges you like you wanted. You're not quite at the level you thought you were, right? What was Why? the term that we got called? We used disgusting words. We were... We're disgusting. People with a social media following shouldn't be doing this. It's literally what we do. But it, what do you mean? People with a social media following shouldn't be doing this. So why did you feed into it you and send it in? For it. You Hi, I love the series. As soon as you're on it, Bro, it's I'll, the worst thing ever. I'm si- I'm sitting at home racking my brain for now. I'm thinking, what did this person think they were, genuinely? This is a little bit of context. We put the video out. Okay, it's done well. Within I don't know a couple hours of the video going out on Instagram, it's going viral. This person has put it on, on her story. own story. Okay, it wasn't until comments came in. That she may not have liked, which again, in the agreement that she signed. You signed for this to happen. And you know, we were kind. The video had already done it, you know, peaked and got whatever, seven, eight hundred thousand yeah, views. We took the video to down. To be nice, bro. We didn't have to do that. On both platforms to keep her happy. The last thing I'll say on this before we move on is that everyone is entitled to an opinion. Yes. Right? 
we have our opinion. And we're the most qualified to do this. Yes. Let's be real. But like, just because you don't agree with our opinion doesn't mean you have to, like people are taking what we say as gospel yeah. and then going, oh, well, well, now it has to be taken well, down. People acting like we go and pick random photos and, and beat up on people. These are the best photos that these people send in. If you think you're a seven and the world tells you you're a four, deal with it and move on. All right. So what videos on TikTok have you been liking lately, Dil? Me, bro. I've been, I would say for the past, I want to say two to three weeks, it's been like food talk, just okay. recipes or like there's a, a village in Italy that's like the strawberry village, mm. my favorite fruit. So I'd love to visit that. I save a lot of travel videos too. I like to save lots of restaurants as well around the world, just mm -hmm. in case, you know, you're in a spot one day and you go, oh, I recognize that. So I'm on food talk. I'm on Russian barbershop dancing talk. Wow, so, that's niche, bro. But it's good to see that they're still having fun over there. Now, there's this guy called Melstroy. Yep. And Melstroy is a big creator in Russia. Does he look like a Russian? Yeah. Nice. I'll, I'll get a video up. Let's go. So on this bloke just randomly talk. pop up or were you? Nah, so it's not him. It, it's a weird, weird trend. This is why. Okay, so here he is. Melstroy official. 797,000 followers. There you go. Look, does he look Russian to you? Yeah. Yeah. Now, I can't understand any of his videos. They're just complete. 1.8 million on Instagram, bro. That's huge. I believe he also went to, he got charged for punching a woman or something like that. Oh, okay. On stream. I think he's a streamer. So he's like these. Big Russian streamer. Yeah. Anyway, so. We should, go, we should DM him, bro. I'm scrolling through TikTok and. I see this weird looking person mm. in a barber shop and the caption is, I told Mel Stroy his haircut is free if he busts a move. Okay. So this is the trend. So it's a barber shop, I believe in Russia. Okay. I could be wrong. Forgive me if I'm wrong. Mel Stroy is seen as like a meme type person over there. Right. So Mel Stroy is not directly in any of these videos, but they're using a filter of his face. Oh. So it, Watch this. Ready? This guy with a big, like, Dagestani type beard. But the filter is of his face. Yeah. And they're all doing this same dance where they get, like, a bow and arrow, their feet are and sliding. why are they doing that dance? It's just this trend, apparently, over there, right? This video has 158 likes. So Jamo's properly down a rabbit yeah. hole right now. Um, which is crazy, bro. Let me get. You're some watching thousand view videos, bro. Yeah, less. What is going on, bro? But their faces all look weird because they've got Melstro filter. Now, I'll, there's one more I want to show you. This little chubby kid, right? And has he done the dance or not? Is he I don't, in I, on Honestly, I, I don't understand any of the language. Yeah, it's a, it's yeah, the yeah. hardest thing to follow. Culture difference. Damn. It's kind of zesty, hey? Yeah. But is this like, okay, if you're at a Russian club in this area, I'm not sure what this area is. Are they doing that at clubs? I reckon. It seems like it's a big cultural trend at the moment. Do you kind of like the dance a bit? He plays tennis, bro? Yeah, I do. This interests me. What, about Melstroy's fame? Yeah, and just Russian culture, you know, that they're living yeah. it up as well. I, I posed this question to dad. Bro. I didn't show him the video, but I said, let's say you go and get a haircut and the guy's going to charge you 40 bucks. Would you do a dance in the barbershop and get filmed to get it for 10? Not for 10. I'd do it for free, maybe. Would you? Maybe. It's getting put on TikTok. Imagine it goes viral of you doing... Get, at least you've got the filter on, right? They can't tell it's you. What if it was filterless? Are you not doing it? Oh. I don't know, bro. bro if I the mean, filter's on, I'm doing it for just, just free of charge. Like, I'm getting the haircut, paying more. <laughs> <laughs> Pay him an extra 10, bro, for, like, letting me do yeah. it in your barber shop. <laughs> Melstroy. I want to get him on the potty one day. Bro, they just put this random, like, they put Melstroy's face on all these people and it makes them look like they're being held mm -hmm. at gunpoint. Yeah. I love it, though. It's a pretty decent filter. Like, it attaches well. It does. I want to know how they do it. Is it, like, on TikTok? Is it on Snapchat? I don't know. Wonder, do you reckon Luke Littler, the darts player, mm. has seen any of our videos on TikTok ever? No. But I don't know why. But he, 17 years old. Has he come across a Who's Punching 
Dunno. Maybe a who's punching. He loves gaming. He loves darts. He loves the side men. He does. We love the side men. We're best mates with them. Yeah, now we are. We're in bed with them, aren't we? Yep. Doing business with them. Locked up with them, bro. Um, Maybe he has. Well, I want to send a message out to Luke Littler and just say congratulations. Mm, he's doing, doing so well, well, isn't he? He's on top of the Premier League High darts. achieving 17-year-old. He's won back-to-back nights. Um, no, it's very good for He'll Luke He'll have a Littler. big 18th, won't he? Shout out to him. And also, I just want to know if you've ever come across any of our videos. And if you haven't, what videos would you like to see from us? Because Born in 2007. One of the best in the world. Wow. 2007. We were in year two. See, technically he's the same gen as us, Gen Z, but I reckon they're too broad. Mm. People born in like 2006 and 7 and 8, and we're not the same. The lingo is completely different 100%, as well. bro. They need to make these generations a little bit more... I was even asking my mum, I was saying, oh, you're the same as someone born in this time. Do you, what do you reckon? She goes, nah, no yeah. way. Getting angry about it? I reckon the cutoffs around the people who are like 98 to maybe like 4045. Yeah. I reckon then it's a bit of a stretch, bro. We have this sent in by Geordie Stewart. Yes, JS. Would love to hear your thoughts on being good or close friends with exes after breaking up. Me and my mates have different opinions. Some say it's fine. Some say it is not at all. Now, your opinion and my opinion is you probably shouldn't. Yeah, like I understand, you know, there's there's exemptions case by case. Yes, but most definitely. In the, in the early stages, it'd probably be easier if you just didn't. Yeah. Early, and, and then, you know, if it, it's it healthy, also, you can come back later and... How healthy can it be in general? Because it's yeah, you've at the end of the day you have broken up, you so have, there is yeah. a bad reason there, no yeah. matter what. Um, and then it can also provide complications down the road if you find someone else or yeah. you got a new partner. You're still friends with your ex. That's weird, a bit bro. weird. Like weird. it would be a red flag for most yeah. people to see that. Hundred percent, bro. Um, so yeah, our opinion. It's case to case. They give it a break for a bit. In our experience, no it's doubt. probably not the best thing. Yeah. In our experience. So, yeah, I'm very much like a, if it's done and it's definitely done, yeah. cutting ties and I work best when I'm not um, Under exposed the influence, to that bro. person. Yeah. And kick on with your own life. I, I like to... Um, yeah, start yeah. kicking goals. Exactly. That's actually a good term. Someone told us during the week she'd... They'd love for us to keep kicking goals. Yeah. Just yeah, I love that term. I remember, face. I'll never forget it, the Cass one night. Old man, Old eh? man said it to yeah. me, bro, and just to, uh, yeah. What do you say? You're kicking goals? How or? you go, mate? Oh, yeah, good. Just, you know, waiting for the Uber. He goes, keep kicking goals, young man. Oh. And I was thinking like, oh, bro, yeah. I will. Thank you. Hope he's doing well, bro. You kick a few since then? Yeah, kick many goals, bro. Many goals. Many, many. A couple bags of five and six, too. We hope you're enjoying the Jammo and Dylan show. It's now time to have your stories heard and your questions answered. To be featured on the potty, message the boys at Jamo and Dylan on Instagram. And this is a bit of an update on a previous story. I'm pretty much back in contact with my um, ex that we did the the last story on um, where I slept with a friend. And then... um, so basically, she's never listened to your podcast except for when I showed her while we were dating. And um, she was getting her lashes done and she decided to listen to an episode of your podcast, the first episode she's ever listened to on her own. The one episode she picked was the one with her in it. And I don't know if you boys know, but when you're getting your lashes done, you can't move, you can't look up, like your eyes are sealed shut. So she was pretty much like stuck listening to this and like thinking, oh my God, this is like about me about me and then um yeah she pretty much had to listen through that and suffer hearing about herself how is that bro and what was the story again he got a court case am i guilty for hard launching a new girl i'm talking to just for my ex to see it i remember this and he sent the photo of us them happy together bro i believe we saw him on that day yeah we did yeah bro i know i know this man's a menace yeah you just know it. We even told him that he's a menace to his face in front of a live audience. Um, so she's sitting there thinking, oh, what should I put on while I get the lashes done? You know what? He's always talking about Jamal and Dylan. Let's give the lads a listen. She's listening. She's going, wow, this is actually one of the best podcasts the I've cha- ever heard. <laughs> what are the chances that the one podcast she picked is and the one? And then she's like, oh, court case. This will be good. And then she starts thinking, wait a minute. 
this sounds a bit familiar. I know who they're talking about. Starts crying, tears rolling down her face as she's on her back, <sighs> lifeless. That's oh, unfortunate, no. but hey, you found out, and maybe you found out for the best. Back in contact now is a little bit of a shock. Yeah. However, but not from this guy, bro, because he breaks all the rules. He does. I'm not sure what type of contact he means. Does he mean is this sexual contact? Is I reckon this, they're seeing each other again. You reckon? Yeah. Chatting boy. with each other, and then she's said, you know, this really funny thing happened because she's probably just looking straight past the red flags that yep. this guy presents. Yep. He's, you know, what he's doing. He's walking into her house with two red flags like hoisted over his shoulder. She's opening the door saying, Come put them Come. down here, son. Yeah. Put them out the out Put them on my bedside yeah. tables and Crazy, let's get to business. Bro. And you know, this happens with a lot of people. They get blinded. I they really c- like this bloke though. Yeah. I do, bro. Well he's He's a, just a menace. He's the content king for us. Yep. He helps us and he's always uh, involved. He's been a staple of the show. Great so, person, bro. and I believe at the live show, I said he's the man that does everything all the time, everywhere. Yeah. So, he's a bro. Of course, he just pops up out of nowhere. Yeah. I feel like we'll be in the most random spot one day and he'll be there, bro, with a doof stick, with those same glasses on, with the blonde frosted tips, bro, just killing it. You know what I was Two women of? on his arm. <laughs> one's his ex girlfriend. One's, one's the, a new one's one. The hard bro. Lord, one's her sister. The he's just, oh, he's oh. working through them, bro. Because if they're back in contact, let's say they're laying in bed together or they're on a date or they're going for a walk and then she goes, you know, this really messed up thing that this happened. This really pissed me off, You Luke. put me through this, but it's actually funny in hindsight because I really love you and I don't see any of the red flags. I was at the nail tech and I got my ears basically bled because of you. And he just starts laughing and he goes, ah, you love it. Yeah. She goes, yeah, I do. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's a pig. That is our pig. Another person who sends in lots of content. Okay. I think we've had this one before, but, you know, we can revisit it. Boys, how long do you reckon you would last in a zombie apocalypse? Let's say you've got 24 hours. No, no. You've got a week to prep. You know what's coming. What are you grabbing? What are you doing, etc. And how long do you reckon you would be able to survive? Let me know. And if you've done this one before, I'm sorry. I've listened to you for so long, so I cannot remember what you boys have spoken about. Same, bro. We'll update you boys. Zombie apocalypse, you got a week to prepare. Um, To be honest, I haven't watched much (sighs) zombie apocalypse stuff. I'm just trying to think of what he does in I Am Legend. Also, how many zombies are we talking? I guess I would like... Well, I'm in Australia, so I'm here. You know, I'm not... Yeah. Some fuel... Petrol, I stack mean, up, tanks some food. And gallons. Yeah, I guess some food, bro. Um, Weapons. like we I'd, I'd eat all the good food in the week leading up because them steaks and stuff, and, you know, I'm going to be living shit for a while. So I'd get lots of canned food, but enjoy the good times now. You know what I'd be doing for that week, bro? Living it up in yeah. Perth. Yeah. Not even Go, preparing? Fuck it, bro. Going out every night, cast, Footy. All the money we have in beach, our accounts. Bro. Yeah, because it's a zombie apocalypse in a week, bro. I'm not going to get to go to the cast anymore. Chances are you're probably going to die too. So Hang out in cot for a couple of days. Oh. Yeah, that's what I'd be get doing. Get Airbnbs bro. in cot so we that's, feel like yeah, we're living That's there. how I'd be preparing for the apocalypse, bro, by living up that last week. Yeah, I don't think I'd last very long if I'm being truthful. Yeah. Maybe like two days. I could get through two days. I don't know how fast they move. I think... I've seen lots of different... Yeah, some come out yeah. at night, some are slow, some are super athletes. Like I don't want to fight any of them. I, I don't, don't want to live in a shitty world like that. No, nah, the hand-to-hand combat is not my... I'm not getting a zo- I don't want thing. that zombie shit near me, bro. No. Nah, I, I don't, don't want, want slob on me, bro. Nah. Ew. And they all got scabs and fessy and they got like... Nah. Disgusting. Yeah, that week I'd just be spent living it up, bro. Dinner's out, you know, going out to eat. You know what I would love to do, though? Hmm? With a like shovel, just smack a zombie over the head with one. Yeah. You see that in some movies yeah. and stuff. I'd do that, and then I'd probably go. Nah, I've had just my to fun. get that sort of that initial violence, like I've yeah. killed something. I w- I wouldn't want to die to a zombie, so I reckon that I'd try and kill one, and then I'd jump off a cliff or something. I'd probably just maybe try and go away, like somewhere a bit isolated. I don't know. You know, I be, like living you in know the what city. would be fun? We go for a so okay. Zombie apocalypse starts. Yeah. We drive down south. We nice. go to we go to Margaret River. Rog's house. Yeah. Yeah. Duns. Yeah. Or we can go to Margaret River in like the forest. Nice. And just But it's a bit scary. Yeah. But I reckon some marshmallows. We'll take Connor Baker with us. Yeah. Camping genius. Yeah, he knows what to do. 
Yeah, and he'll help us and we'll survive and all will be good. Eat off the land, bro. Use a bow and arrow. Yeah, that's not me. To be honest, we'll probably get an Airbnb down there. Someone will rent one out to us, even though there's an apocalypse. And we're not, when, then they come knocking the door to kick us out. We're not leaving, bro. No. Yeah. All the like nerdy people will be like, oh, I'm going to make a zombie apocalypse shelter yeah. underground and no one will get yeah. me. You're fucked, bro. What would Rog say? Ro- oh, what you know, would Rog doing? This is what Rog would say. I'm going to ask him. He'd say, I don't know. Actually, can you call him? Or probably you reckon he'll answer. pick up? No. Nah. He'll reply, though, at Josh, how long would you survive a zombie apocalypse and how would you prepare? See I feel like Rog would be like, dumb question, not literal. Yeah. He'd be like, why would I waste my time thinking about that He's if it's online. not going to happen? I hate when he does this. Yeah, he just messaged me about AFL Fantasy. I watched a Sydney Sweeney movie at the movies called Immaculate. Mm-hmm. Um... It was. It's okay. I feel like a it's lot okay. of the movies she's been involved in are that's okay. Been yeah. the response. And I give it like so. These are all the ratings, and I would have it around that. Yeah. So you're looking at five, seven, six, seventy, whatever. It depends. Like it was. I'll give it. Give it to her. It was original, and you're not knowing where it's going to go. Okay. But like, I can't say I loved where it went. What type of genre are we talking? I would say more horror. Horror at the start, and then I don't know. Sort of like a thrillery. Okay. I think it had a potential to be better. Yeah. Um. Yeah, she's in a lot of average stuff. Yeah. Which is interesting. So, um, I don't know. I'd like to see her take her roles a bit more seriously. You know, she's <laughs> asking me for advice <laughs> as her manager, but I'm sure she's happy with her millions and millions in the account. Yes, yes. Yeah. Her um, meteoric, me- meteoric? Yeah. Rise to fame it's in the last. Oh, few she's years. just everywhere, and she's in everything. Euphoria did boost a lot of people. Yep, and then she's just in every movie and TV show. So that was a show her, that bro. was out, did well over in America and Canada, and, and then like blew up here, bro. But like a year after, yeah, it took a while. Blew and up. Once that went, you know, all of them have had big careers since. Yeah, bro. Not all. Obviously, Zendaya. She was already pretty famous. Jacob Elordi is like the it guy. Mm. Hurry up, Rog. This is a question I do not know how to answer. Yeah. I hate people like this, no, bro. So just have this fun. This is what I thought would happen. Because he puts no thought into... Goes to be for fair, Geelong, bro. Sick of Geelong winning and being good every year. To be fair, I put no thought into that stuff. But, but at like, least we had a good answer. Yeah, yeah. Ours is to have fun in the week before because we're probably going to get messed up. That's the up. only way. That's the only right answer, actually. Everyone is going to be so scared. Everyone's going to spend actually, the whole week being scared and there's shit, There's a movie bro. about that. What? Not the zombie apocalypse, but... It is Steve Carell. Yep. And the whole world gets told that a meteor is going to hit. The world's about to end. Oh. So then you get to live the rest of your life either in fear or doing things you love. Nice. So it's similar to what we were saying. Is that, that's like also like once that Leo Leonardo DiCaprio movie too. Mm. That, you seen that one? What's it called? It's called... Well, I can't know. This movie's name. This Steve Carell movie is called Seeking a Friend for the End of the World. Nice. It's a romance. Is it good? Slash comedy. It's a 6.7. Okay. Do you agree with that? Don't yeah. Look Up is the Leo movie I'm thinking of. Yeah. Which was, it was all right. Like, you know, not one of his best. Yeah. Um, Look, this movie. Seeking a Friend for the End of the World. So it sounds like Don't Look Up copied this exact premise. This is 2012. Yeah, they did then. It's interesting though. Because it's a little bit more romantic. Like he's pretty much a loser, but then finds someone to to, spend the... But she's like a fun person who injects a bit of something into his life before it all goes away. Nice, nice. I have spoiled a little bit there, but um, it's a weird one. The movie itself wasn't exceptional. Yeah. But it's one that stuck with me for the last eight years. Yeah. Like I always come back to it. Because I think it was good with perspective and like nice, nice. looking at how you can potentially live your life versus to how you are living it so mm. there's a lot of people who will oh, we're all gonna die i'm just gonna stay at home be negative or yeah. you can yeah we're all gonna die i'm gonna live as good as yeah. i can yeah nah, yeah for also real. i believe the lead female kira knightley oh nice bro she Adam, used to be massive remember how big of a star she was yeah. pirates of the caribbean bend it like beckham bro adam Brody from the oc nice bro he's involved nice yeah i haven't watched this for a long time there you go an asteroid matilda is on verge of striking the earth and ruining it within three weeks 
an insurance salesman whose wife abandons him due to panic, it's decides nice. to find oh, his nice, high school bro. love. Sounds decent. Beautiful. Yeah, it's like one of those movies that isn't exceptional um, if you're a critic. Yeah, but, but it yeah, sends nah. a good message. Yeah. yeah. And sometimes those like Agreed, movies bro. are special. Yeah. Not everything has to be made for, you know, Cannes Film Festival. Even those 2000s movies that we say yeah, are so Yeah, critically good. never. Yeah. But like we love them. Yeah, because they're kind of like, I always just call them Joe Dirt movies. Yeah, they're Joe. Look at Bench Warmers, bro. 13% on Rotten Tomatoes. What are you talking about? That's my, Love that movie. That's genuinely like my favourite childhood movie, to be honest. It's like all the Fast and Furious movies don't get good reviews. Yeah. I like them. Joe Dirt, bro. I used to watch this shit as a kid. I reckon I might go through Harry Potter again. I'm hell due, eh? Yeah, yeah I'm due, bro. We'll do it together every every Friday, potty yeah. day. Harry Potter's a good time, bro. Yeah. One of my, like, only of that sort of fantasy sci-fi. Yeah, I know that difference. I'm putting them all together yeah. that I genuinely enjoy. That was one where, when I was really young, I didn't really gel to it. But yeah. mum pushed me to like it, and she made me think that it was, like, pretty good i only got into them as more of a like an adult yeah. when i went through them i remember watching them as a kid like one and two and then four and mm. seven and enjoying them but then watching them all together probably like two years ago i was like oh elite yeah i remember yeah the first couple i was like yeah and then mum really liked them yeah and, and then she started taking me to the movies on release week and stuff oh they they were packed out bro so then that's where i started getting involved i remember i sent a I did something on the internet where we paid like 50 bucks to get um, a signature from Ron Weasley. Nice. Took a year to come. Damn. Probably Probably wasn't even him that signed it. But yeah, after a year, bro. But um, it was probably just some guy on eBay who was doing him himself. Yeah. It was a photo, black and white photo of Ron Weasley. Signed. Signed, yeah. Cheers, but, Ron. Maybe we'll have him on one day. Oh, that would be sick. Yeah, bro. Rupert Grint. Awful name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great character. But lots of money. Bro. Definitely. So there you go. So yeah, much love guys. What an app. Enjoy your week. Enjoyed that. We'll see you next time. Thank you for listening to the Jamo and Dylan show. Make sure to subscribe to the boys on YouTube and share the podcast with a mate.